Sam outside just holding it in place while I run my little craft knife round and I've just scored off the plastic that I'm gonna peel off it's gonna get. All right, we're blowing about 20 knots out here, which isn't really ideal when you're dealing with flappy windows that can that can go swimming. But you can see what I've done here. I've hung it and I've just masked around. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time. I'm a complete novice, learning as I go. And hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well. And some of it is absolute sheer craziness. But somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, so I've just done a live video um, on my window issues with sliding windows and options and buying various wrong windows. So obviously this is probably four, five, maybe even six weeks later after I put that live video up, I put a link up top. Uh, so massive thank you to the guys that commented on there. Uh, Blue Dog guys sent me a load of cool sliding. You see when it's opening windows, and so it's got to be sliding because of how narrow the, the gunnels are down there. Um, it's simply the sliding ones, which looked amazeballs. But uh, 86 config, don't actually know his actual name. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, he, he, he's really helped me out. Um, and it was kind of on my mind, but he gave me the confidence to get on with it and make my own sliding windows. So I'm waiting for now for a response if I can send back the 250 pounds of windows that I bought to send them back to uh, make my incisions on this one. But that is a video to follow. So I bought them. I've bought four sheets of um, acrylic to finish off them four windows. I bought them last year and obviously run out of summer to do it. So now I've got my measuring bits out on my, my radius plate. I'm very tempted just to take some measurements on this side and just pre cut them, get them ready, stow them away, and then I'll just cut ready for when I need them. I think it makes sense while I'm, while I'm set up for, for cutting plastic. So I'm going to get on with that, I'm going to get them out, check measurements that way, because I don't really just think they're going to be the same as these. I'll double check my measurements on this side, get my heights and widths, and uh, yeah, like I say, get them cut out. So, just a quick catch up on that. Um, when it comes to me actually making slidey type things, I'm going to make a little prototype first, just to go through sort of the, the mechanics, make sure I've thought of everything before I was making the incisions in there, because they're quite expensive. But yeah, I'll capture my, my thought processes, my, my trials and tribulations, and yeah, make some slider windows that suit the boat and keeps me happy. But speak in a bit. Hey guys, so yesterday, I found out the dark side of using butyl tape. Um, I fitted these hatches, what, a month or two ago now. Absolutely fine, not an issue. We had that really, really, really hot spell where it's been hitting sort of almost mid 30s for, it seemed like forever, two, three weeks. Add a bit of rain, wet bed. <laughs> so where I bedded this one on Seeker on the outside, on the outside lip not seeker butyl tape i think it just got so hot it sort of melted down inside because it started to let water in so what i'd do last night was go around with a bit of a seeker uh just a bit of white seeker i'd laying around it's 291 maybe and just squirted a little bit around where the hatch meets the wood and that stopped it. <laughs> raining last night, raining today, and we've got a dry bed. <sighs> what I also done, where the wood meets the the hatchwood meets the coach roof, I put a nice big bead of epoxy around there because there was a crack there as well where the heat had sort of moved everything around. But 
all's well that ends well. I've now got a dry bed and a double, triple sealed um, hatch. I've still got a bit of work to do in here, and that is where I rounded out a bit too deep. You got a better view than me there with the GoPro. I just need to get some seeker and just go around here and make this all nice. But that's on the, that's on the later base, and I'll do the same next door in the girls' room. So, like I say, it's been raining for a few days, and I've got a very wet boat. But today is the day, it's Friday afternoon, just finished work. I'm going to get the hoover going, a bit of sandpaper, sand off the fairing that I'd done, it seemed like months ago, get that, get that all flatted down. In that time, hopefully the boat will be dry, because it's not supposed to rain now for a good day or so. It's got, I've got 10% at, at, at points, but I'll take that, I'll take them chances. Get it sanded down, get a, another coat of paint on, and I'm hoping, touch wood, that, um, not today, that's pushing it for Epoxy Primer 2K, maybe today, maybe this evening, but probably tomorrow morning is I'll get a couple of coats of uh, 2K polyurethane on the top um, and then look at fitting windows. So I'm not in a massive rush to fit the windows purely because I'm not 100% convinced, convinced what I'm going to do with the opening aspect. So after my live video that I put up asking for help for a while ago, but I'll try and put a link up top. Um, I took the advice of people, mixed it up, done what I normally done. I've got got the advice, or put it all in a pot and stirred it up, and from that, I sort of come up with a hybrid solution. Where the plan is, this will probably changed by the time I tune in, tune in next. Is obviously all these windows sit on the outside, which leaves this centimeter size sort of internal bit of wood here. So when these come out, I'll have this the same here. So picture this being this window. If this is the, the slidey window, cut out a half size hole of the window. And I'm going to install some lined, like fur lined stuff, I can't remember what it's called now, on here, the black plastic, so on the black, pla yeah, black plastic will sit in there and the other runner, rail, will be at the top here and it'll just slide up and down. So I found the bits I need, so I've got the plastic. One thing I need, still need to do is I need to find the seals that will sit on the existing bit of glass and the bit of glass here that when I close it, it keeps it watertight. So on the little plastic rail that sits along here, I'm gonna drill through to outside. So I'll drill through the plastic window, through the rail, that any water collects in there, it's gonna run outside, not into the boat. There's a lot of planning and a lot of organization to do um, for this. And that's basically why I'm not 100% that I'm going to install a slidey window window yet because there's a lot of cutting there's a lot of messing around there's a lot of jiggery pokery and the way i put the windows in when they're in they're in yes it's a lot of work to remove them and if i do remove them they're, they're pretty much you know ready for the rubbish rubbish heap because with a, with a ultra high bonding tape and two nine seek 295 they are in there see my problem is I don't know what the problem is. I probably could go bold, make an incision in the new window that's going to go in here, make a cut out of a, a decent size, install a window with that cut out there, ready for the closing mechanism to go in at a later date. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. For now, rather than force like bending my mind in half, I'm going to get on with the sand in, get this sanded in here. Remember I fared up to cover the where the two bits of glass meet, 
get that sanded smooth-ish, ready for the next bit of epoxy. So after about five, six minutes of blurbing, I'm going to get on with it. It's anything to avoid sanding really. Switch me back. Hey guys, right, so that's that second coat on. Is it perfect? Again, <laughs> no. But it's about the same as the rest of the boat, you know, it's never gonna be nice smooth surfaces, the state it was in. But Fox Lady standards, that is bang on. So maybe later, realistically tomorrow, I'll get some two, 2K polyurethane on there. I also, with what was left of the paint, I finished the starboard side of the roof. So that's looking pretty good now in undercoat. Uh, I've still got to finish the port side. Got a bit of sanding, a bit more fairing, a bit of painting, get that looking half decent. And then I'm gonna shop for solar panels. Um, I wanted it as a yes, this year job. I'm getting craned out in a few months, so. Realistically, it being over the winter next year job, getting the solar uh, and all the charging systems in place. But I'll still get measured up, do what I can, get things ordered, and uh, yeah, everything will take its turn. As I mix out some thickened epoxy now, I'm going to fill some holes in the gunnels, my sort of main transits in the front and back of the boat. Stick some thickened epoxy in, so maybe tomorrow I'll take a, a grinding disc to it. And get some fairing on there and get that done as well but i'll show you that later so it's about four hours later some people would say i'm impatient but i'm, uh, I'm gonna do it tonight it's dry i can't sink my nail in it i'll sunk it a little bit there <laughs> but maybe i'll get another half an hour there's only a very thick bit of paint i could sink it in yeah i'll get another half an hour an hour but then I'm going to get on with um, 
slept on a 2k polyurethane. So, if you haven't seen my videos before, this is stuff black country paint. It's not a marine grade from a chandler's or anything like that. I get about a litre of it for the cost of you get 100 mil in Chandler's. Um, exactly the same stuff. It's basically car paint. I put it on by hand, two to one mix with a hardener. Uh, goes off very quickly. It's almost flashes off like, like you're spraying a car. And after 24 hours, I, I about a week or something, but it takes a little while to then it gets really, 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 really hard, which is which is ideal for sort of wear and tear on interior. And if you do scratch something, gouge something, then it's a bit like a car really. Get a quick sand, cut loads of paint on, jobs a good one. So obviously showing you that and me put my fingerprint in it, my, my thumbnail. I will give it another hour, but then I'm gonna get on with putting a 2K on. When I get around to doing it, I'll do a little sped up show and tell. Right, I'm going to start getting this slapped on. I'm going to put some music on, so I'll speed drop some music over the top. This stuff goes everywhere. It's horrible. So I'll zap you forwards now. Okay, internally, that is final. I have a very light background, doesn't really help me go through.
Four and a half ruler. Um, I was discussing with Sam earlier, not that she was really listening, that I'm thinking about putting the windows in tomorrow if I get the tape comes. I normally get tape from Screw Fix and they've just stopped selling it. It's just, it's just vanish off the face of the earth. So I've got to order some on Amazon, which should come tomorrow. But my Amazon deliveries here could be midday, it could be 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So tomorrow would be nice but it could be any time but um, what I'm thinking is is cutting the rather than having two big holes or two big leaky windows in is putting them in properly but cutting the aperture in the plastic so then I've just got to seal that until I do my closed window affair um, that way I can tape it up cover it up board it up whatever I need to do and just have yeah, some towels down here to capture the leak. That's a that's a thought. Um, I need to decide exactly how it's going to work with a cutout. I've got a few ideas in my head. Um, what I really need to do is sit down, get some measurements, order some bits, have a little play. But I haven't got any patience, so I think realistically, I'm just going to make the cut and. Uh, then ride about it afterwards. But I'll uh, I'll keep you informed down getting on anyway. Alright, I'll speak to you later. Morning guys, so I've got Sam helping me today. It's a lot easier with two people, I normally do this on my own. Um so I've measured up my 37 my sort of overhangs top and bottom. I've marked it outside on the coach with bits of blue tape to line it up. And I've had Sam outside just holding it in place while I run my little craft knife round. And I've just scored off the plastic that I'm going to peel off that's going to get primed and then tape, seeker, etc, etc. So that is now lined up. Obviously with this one, what else I need to do is then work out my, my cutout I'm going to do here for my open window before I fit it. But that's a, that's a little while later job. So I'm going to take this one down now, uh, measure up and check out the other one. And then I'll start looking at this. So I'll shoot back in when we get there. Okay, now I've scored off the uh, the shape of the window. Should be able to peel off this bit, which will then allow me to prime up the surround without getting primed on the actual window pane. To get the ultimate key, you've got to make sure you take a bit of sandpaper to this. I'm going to use about 120 or something on an electric sander just to, just to give it a good good key for the primer to bite onto. And that's going to guarantee it's not going to start popping off in a couple of years' time. So I'm going to measure up the other window now, do exactly the same, and then we'll get this keyed up and get the primer on. Hey guys. Just lost about six hours of my life. Um, as I was outside doing the windows, my friends are trying to go out in their tender. Outboard is running like a, barely running. So I couldn't watch it no more. So I had to strip down their carb from, uh, do their spark plugs and stuff. Got it running sweet as a nut. Uh, and for payment, I said they can buy me breakfast. So me and Sam went across the way to uh, Harbour Lights Cafe, had a bit of breakfast slash lunch. Uh, and while I'm over there, I've got a phone call saying that the um, the freezer in the Yacht Club's packed up. And I was going to come back here, go and get a freezer from the village down the road, bring it back here. And then I was speaking to someone else's outboard. But now, at 20 past four, I'm back on the boat. So I've got my little uh, orbital sander. So what I'm going to do, I'll put these back in because it's a bit cloudy when we went out. And, I'll just... and also I've put these in to stop the dust coming into the boat while I'm sanding. So I'm now going to get set up, uh, get the sander going. I'm just going to sand, not the whole lot, just the areas where I'm going to be attaching to. So I'm not just sort of sequin adhesive ink onto sort of old loose paint. Uh, so I've got a good, a good surface to adhere to. Then from there, 
I'll mark out area I need to mark out, get some primer on the coach roof. I still need to put a key on these windows as I explained earlier. I've got a multi-tool now so I'm going to put a little key on them. And then realistically it's probably be today I'll uh, I will I will install them. It wasn't actually my intent but I'm gonna get it done. So I need to work out what size opening I'm gonna cut into the glass slash plastic. But yeah, just give a quick update and I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, also forgot to add that I've, I've lost Sam now, she's gone back to you know, sort out stuff at home. So I'm working on my own, which makes life a little bit more interesting, but, but doable. I've done it plenty enough. So this one is, I've just done the masking tape around the outside, ready to mark out where I'm going to prime. This one I've just hung up, I've come inside to make sure I'm still in and around the lines. I can see here, it needs to come up and that way a little bit. So I'm going to go outside and just move that where it's hanging on the tape and then again mask it out. So uh, I'll see you out there. Alright, we're blowing about 20 knots out here which isn't really ideal when you're dealing with flappy windows that can, that can go swimming. But you can see what I've done here, I've hung it and I've just masked around so I can see where I need to paint the primer one. I've had a good sand out here. Um, so what I'm going to do now, remember inside, this had to come up a little bit on this corner and that way. That's all I do. Take that off. I'll move up and over. Pin that back on. And I'll put another one on for good measure. And I can see I've moved it up here. So I've moved it up about a millimetre and a half. And I've moved it over. But for me to, not to prime that millimetre there is no issue. So all I'm going to do now with my masking tape is just going to go round, record all these edges, so I can then remove the window. This one I'm going to have to make my cuts in, which will be a in a minute job. Uh, but they're both going to need sanding down and priming. And say so that one's going to need the opening, cutting it. I don't want to stick it in and then attack it with jigsaw, make a mistake, crack it, something like that, and then it'd be stuck in. So I'm going to do it now and then just deal with um, weatherproofing that opening until I've made a, a suitable opening device. So before I get blown away or the windows get blown in, I'm going to get this masked up and I'll uh, see you for stage 407 or whatever one now. <laughs> see you in there. So this is it, finished in tape. Um, so I've got to take this window off and do the same to finish off where the down whites are and sort of the hanging bits of tape are. Just put a couple of scraps across and I'll give this quick wipe over with uh, acetone and then put the black primer, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll put that on there and the same here. And then I'll get to town with the uh, actual panes of glass, panes of, panes of plastic. But I shall show you that in a memento. Hey guys, just sat at Sam's editing and realised in the interest of time that I need to cut it here and I'll do this video as a prep and the next video will be the actual fitting the windows. So I'll put a link in to the next one when it's up, I'll put a link in. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. A massive thank to my Patreon Blue Dog Oz and I'll see you next time. Cheers.